weapon used in the late medieval period all throughout Europe and it was specifically designed to meet the advancement of armor as the technology of armor advanced throughout the heavy centuries of warring throughout all of Europe and the Middle East. As armor advanced, their curved surfaces incorporated with iron became difficult to pierce with swords or axes, which would mostly ricochet off modern armor. But in the Middle Ages around 1000 AD, along came this amazing weapon, the war hammer. During the medieval period, which ranged from the 5th to 15th century, which began with the fall of the Roman Western Empire and ended into the Renaissance. The Crusades also began here, as well as mannerism, where the peasants began to work for lords, the feudalism knights to carry the burden of the heavy military service. During this time, the Black Death plagued Europe. It was a very difficult time that saw heavy warfare, and the Warhammer played a major role in that. The Warhammer is shaped like a modern hammer on one side, it's blunt and heavy, and the other side being sharp like a pickaxe. And the handle ranged from one to five feet. The Warhammer is designed with the ability to carry maximum impact without the need to penetrate armor with a blunt strike. The solid blow of the Warhammer can knock the enemy unconscious or kill with one strike. It was also used to dismount soldiers on horses. The spiked end was used to finish off the enemy with a strong enough strike could penetrate through the armor. Later, longer war hammers were made called mauls, specifically for horse-mounted soldiers. Construction of the war hammer varied from one part of Europe to the other. They typically used iron, bronze, and steel, and the handle was mostly made of wood, but some handles were made out of steel alloy. This was an anti-armor weapon used one-handed with no hand guards. The Warhammer side could destroy chainmail and the spike could just rip through it like it was nothing. And it would smash an iron steel helmet unlike anything before its time. And the spike could be used for hooking or piercing but also had a problem of getting stuck at times. You could also use the Warhammer to defend with as well as lock and bind swords, arms, or legs with this weapon. Between the plague, revolt, and strife within the Catholic Church, this caused chaos which ultimately led to the early modern period with technological breakthroughs. Technologies of firearms such as muskets, hand cannons, and arquebus later began to dominate and saw the end for the most part of the war hammer on the battlefield. Massive trade routes, worldwide discoveries, as well as the discovery of the New World put the medieval period to an end, but the war hammer played a major role in it. One strike to the helmet would knock somebody unconscious with ease or destroy their rib cage with a blunt strike to the chest. And of course the spike was used to finish off the enemy. Always as technology advances, so does the advancement of weapons. One of the greatest things about the Warhammer, like all the weapons we talk about on this channel, is as evil shows his ugly head, good has always got to rise against evil, and the Warhammer is just an example of how we do that. Thank you for watching this episode of History of Weapons.